Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl G Vanity here with another video for you guys. And on today's video, as you guys can see by the title, today's video is all about brows 101, excuse me, 101, where I give you guys some tips and tricks on how to achieve a good brow, especially beginners, and especially how to fix um, a messed up brow and all that jazz so if this is a video that would interest you then continue watching but before we get started don't forget to hit the subscribe button give this video video a big thumbs up and also watch to the end so you can leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought about today's video and if you think my tips and tricks are good and if you're gonna try them and let me know how it goes for you and I'll see you guys soon bye guys this is the cover girl perfect blend this is in black brown and that's the pencil that we're using today okay so we're gonna go ahead I just sharpened it and so the purpose of this video is show you guys like if you mess up your brows that you can fix it there's a way right so we're gonna go ahead and take the pencil and we're gonna go ahead and start our, our, our eyebrows like normally so what I usually do first is line my brows right so as you guys could see my brows are very thin and I would like to keep it this way I don't want it to be thickened up or anything so and my eyebrows are always cleaned up and there's no extra hairs because I always keep them done and I do them myself so we're gonna go ahead and line my brows I'll start at the top very lightly in the front and then just line that up now let's say I'm lining it up and boom like I go up and I make it mad thick for no reason like not how I wanted it to be like so right so we're gonna continue we're gonna go ahead on on the bottom part we're gonna start in the front lining it up and then let's say we're just doing the same thing on the bottom okay like that like you guys see the difference like you guys see the difference between this and that how thin my natural brow is and this one is like really not thin at all we're gonna go ahead and continue so i'm gonna go ahead and fill it in and also you guys you want to make sure that the end of your brows like you see right now my brow is too short so you want to make sure you end the your brow you measure it like this from the outer corner part of your eye you put the pencil like that and you line it up at this angle and where it stops like right here that's where your eyebrow should end okay that's how you measure it so I put that dot I'm gonna go ahead and just bring my eyebrows all the way down like so trust me it will look nicer that way okay so your eyebrows always begin in the front you always end up putting your arch this is your pupil I guess right on top of your pupil like this so your arch should be here just like where mine is and your eyebrow should end at this angle at the tip like right here where your pencil lens when you measure it like this all right got it so we're gonna go ahead and continue filling it in all right like so okay so let's say you end up with your brow like this that's not how you want it right so we're gonna continue I'm gonna go ahead and take a spoolie and I'm going to brush my eyebrows so I'm going to brush the front of my eyebrows up and out towards this way just so I could get a softer finish and not too harsh of a line for my brows right up and away and I'm just gonna brush the rest of my brows up and in the direction that I applied it like so okay now can you guys see how messy do you guys see that you see how messy my eyebrows look right we're gonna go ahead and continue this is the fun part now the fun part is cleaning up your eyebrows this is where you fix your eyebrows okay and I'm gonna show you guys some tips and some tricks so what I do is I use an art brush okay 
I use this brush as you guys can see it's very 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 flat very flat right or what you can do is take a regular like um makeup brush that's flat and you can add some glue to it there's a way you can do it to make it really flat for a concealer brush but i love love this art brush that i stole from my boyfriend since he his he is an artist <laughs> okay so i'm gonna use that brush it's, you need something really really that you can be able to control okay and i'm gonna go ahead with my concealer so here's another trick okay i'm using two concealers the first concealer i'm using is the nars uh, radiant creamy concealer in the color caramel which is this right here okay I'm using that on the bottom part of my eyebrows because this is the color I usually highlight with and on the top I'm using the crayon case highlighter concealer in the color 15 okay which is this right here and I'm doing this because this concealer is a little bit darker and it'll go to um better with my skin tone like it goes with it more I guess it matches it a little bit more so it won't show as like white or show up on camera or anything like that it will clean up better trust me okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand like so you really don't need a lot at all like so and I'm getting it all over my hand of course and I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush and just Tap it in on my concealer. Like I said, don't pick up too much. Just enough to, you know, get enough on the brush. But it's not like soaking it up on the brush. Like so. Right? And I'm going to go ahead. You can either go this way or this way. I usually just go this way. Or I'll go this way depending on how I'm feeling. But it doesn't matter really. As long as you have control of your brush. And I'm going to go ahead and... Just lightly start lining it up. Now I hate talking when I do my brows. But since this is a brow video, I'm going to try my best for you guys. Or maybe like I'll stop this and do like a voiceover. But basically I start in the inner corner. And I'm lightly just like doing little strokes. And like under the brow. So this is where you fix if wherever you put the thickness. If you made it too thick, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just line the bottom part. With my brush, like so, I'm keeping it closed. This is why I didn't put too much product on the brush. Because I don't want a lot of product right underneath my brows. I want to keep it as minimal as possible. So this is why I didn't put that much product on the brush. And I'm literally just shaping the brow how I want it to be. With the concealer and the brush, like so. And obviously, just going with a little bit more concealer if you need more which I'm doing here just like that okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just apply a little bit more concealer on the bottom so it can be easier to blend to meet that concealer and then I'm not even gonna let that dry up I'm going to go ahead and take my Real Technique brush and I'm just going to blend that out now when you blend out your concealer when you blend out your concealer this is also why you don't put too much product because let's say you're using a brush right the concealer can get on your eyebrows and then you'd have to like fill it in again or like you know line it up and shape it again so this is why i don't put too much concealer i literally just go ahead with my brush and tap it in like this that's how i end up with no problem blending out my concealer okay so this is it for the bottom part of the brow like that now we're gonna go ahead and clean the top of the brows okay <laughs> we're gonna use the concealer this concealer this time i'm gonna show you guys the difference in color you guys see that right here that's this concealer so this is this concealer that's what I'm using to clean the top of my brow and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to lightly just dab in that concealer brush off any excess any excess because I don't want OD OD concealer on the brush at least not at first 
And I'm going to go ahead. Now for my brows, I start in the front. I don't know if you guys could see that when I brushed it up, like all that. I don't need all of that. So this is where you really, really clean it up. Okay? I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to start from the front. Like so. And usually, I don't start like where I want it to start. Like, I don't know how to really explain. Where I want the eyebrow to be, I usually don't start exactly, like, near it. Because I want to at least, like, give it one pass, shape it first. And then I'll go back in and, like, fix anything else that, you know, that I want to fix. And I'll show you guys what I mean when I say I usually start, like, a little bit on the outer part first. And remember how I measured your brows? My pupil is right here. So this is so this is where I want my arch, like right here. Okay? So I'm just gonna do this first. Okay, y'all see that? Now I'm going to go ahead. Now if you guys could see how it's dark and it's lighter here. I hope that you guys could see that. This is what I mean when now I'm going to start going closer to the brow to actually, actually get it how I want. And this point, you want really minimal concealer. You don't want to put too much concealer on your brush. So I'm dabbing off any extra concealer because you could always add, but you don't want to have too much because you're going to have to like go over it with a pencil. You don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and get closer to the brow and give it like the shape that you want to give it all right like this you guys i'm gonna take my brush again and i'm gonna do the same thing just tap my brush so i could make sure i blend that concealer and I'm just blending it upwards and I'm trying to be careful so it does not touch my brows so I don't mess it up and have to like go over it again with a pencil and all that jazz like so all right now another trick you see how the beginning of my brows and especially it's I it started way too far anyways but that's okay but what I like to do is go in with a concealer I'm gonna go in with the same shade that I used on the top part of my eyes the darker one and I'm going to take my brush and straight like put on the concealer like that and I'm going to use that concealer to soften up the front of my brows so I'm just going to go in like hair like strokes just in the beginning of the brow up to like right here Okay. Like so. And I'm going to go ahead and take my brush. And I'm going to lightly just pat that in. You can also use your spoolie, which I will do again. But I'm lightly patting this in just like so. Alright, like this. And now before I set my brow, I'm going back in with my spoolie one more time. And I'm just going to lightly... um blend the front upward lightly like so and then I'm just going to lightly blend the rest of my eyebrows like so and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my eyebrow gel this is from mud Ma, mud makeup designer cosmetics and this is the brow fix and it's a clear one and I'm going to go ahead and just top pop that on top of my brows just to set it especially if you need your brows to last you all day long this is it I'm just going to go ahead and do upward strokes with it like so and that's pretty much it like can you guys see that like literally I just took this and turned it into this without even like you know without doing too much or being so extra and like this is really not that hard and it's like literally the same size it's not as thick and it's not as like dark and like 
you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like literally not that much of a di big difference from this one and that one. And this is exactly what I want, especially if you're going for a natural look, okay? And this is the brow. So I'm going to go ahead and do my face off camera and I'm going to come back and show you guys my whole eyebrows and face all together. Okay guys, so this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you stayed till the end. So don't forget to leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next week's video. Bye guys. Mwah.